You might not be able to buy any toilet paper, but you can still go to the movies and you might not even have to sit beside anybody. There is no way around it. The coronavirus has just basically effed everything up for everybody. In the worst case scenario, creating unspeakable hardship and suffering for some. And even in the best case scenario, just basically being a pain in the ass for everybody else. And the movie industry has received no exemption from this hardship. Movies like James Bond, No Time to Die, New Mutants, Mulan, Fast and Furious 9, and of course my most anticipated movie of the year, A Quiet Place 2, have all lost their release dates as a result of the crisis. Just compounding the major cultural events that have been canceled like E3, South by Southwest, CinemaCon, the NBA season, the NHL season, even the XFL season, all gone. This has resulted in some states like California, for example, instituting a cancellation of any public gathering of 250 people or more. Still, it shouldn't really surprise anybody that as of yet, movie theaters have remained open, and that shouldn't surprise many of us because after all, nothing shuts down the movie theaters. World War II didn't shut down the movie theaters. 9-11 didn't shut down movie theaters. Now, we may see that change in the coming days or weeks, but as of right now, the movie theaters are open. But in response to the ongoing crisis and the new law in California, the two biggest movie theater chains in North America, Regal and AMC, have responded with new restrictions. An article in The Wrap reports on the AMC statement with this. Beginning tomorrow, Saturday, March 14th, and continuing until April 30th, 2020, AMC will cut in half the seating capacity of every one of its theater auditoriums, the statement read. It will do so by capping ticket sales for each showtime in each of its theater's auditoriums to an amount equal to 50% of the normal seating capacity. In those auditoriums with more than 500 seats, AMC will further cap ticket sales to a maximum of 250 in any case. AMC is also actively complying with all local authorities, directives on social gatherings, and is further reducing the availability of tickets to comply with any current or future federal, state, or local government order. Now, whether or not theater should stay open at all, or whether or not it's a good idea for you or I to even be going to the movie theaters right now, that's a topic for another discussion. As far as this one specific move on Regal and AMC's parts go, I gotta say it's a common sense thing. Number one, it does make sure it meets the requirements of the new laws coming into place, so that makes sense. But by also making sure that you cap it to 50% capacity, it just does guarantee that if you are somebody who does want to still go out to the movies and go see a show, that you're going to have options to sit where you're not crammed right in beside other people. And this whole thing could carry with it a couple of advantages. Advantage number one for people who still do want to go to the movies. Well, it gives the movie theaters a way to stay open to allow those people to go to the movies. But also it might carry the advantage that if there are people out there who are a little bit nervous about going to the movies, well, maybe knowing that you're not going to be crammed in beside other people might make you feel a little bit better about going, but I'm not so sure that's true. What do you guys think? Are you somebody who's been a little bit apprehensive and nervous about going to the movie theaters? Would passing rules like this where it's making sure it's only 50% capacity, would that do anything to convince you to go? Or are you kind of like a lot of other people right now? It's like, you know what? Right now, this thing's going on. I'm just going to avoid the movies for now regardless. Or maybe you're going to the movies regardless. How do you feel about this move? I think it makes kind of common sense. But what do you think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. That will do it for me for now, guys. Thanks a lot for being here. My name is John Campia. And until my next video, bye-bye.